Today we're going to be doing a fun furniture painting project. I'm going to show you how to paint pour on furniture using Debbie's Design Diary clay-based paint. Hi, I'm Janice from Chabalot. Um, I have this stool here because I'm going to be painting it with Old 57, which is a beautiful um, turquoise color from Debbie's DIY Clay Base Paint. And this stool has been around for a long time. It goes up like that and goes down. So it's a step stool. It's very old. It has a ring, water ring on it. Um, I don't know how long I've had it. It's got to be it's gonna be about 20 years or so. So um, I'm gonna paint it today with Old 57, which, you know, that's fun. But the fun part, what I'm going to do after I paint it, is I'm going to do a paint pour. I'm really excited about doing a paint pour. I've done it once before, and it was um, last week. It was my first paint pour, and I did it live on my Facebook page in front of people. <laughs> so it was a blast. I had a great time. It didn't come out good. It really didn't come out good. Um, I mean, it, for a paint pour, it came out good. Actually, it's right here. I mean, it's a paint pour. And this is what a paint pour is, if you're not familiar. It's, it's just this way of pouring paints on whatever it is you want. This is a canvas. And I mean, it's okay. The reason why I say it didn't come out good is because it was supposed to be a flower. <laughs> so I have been um, researching paint pouring, uh, which means I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on paint pouring. And uh, Debbie of Debbie's Design Diary, we all know her. Uh, she did a paint pour, Debbie did a paint pour on a, on a chair that she found and she, her paint pour was beautiful and when I saw her do it, I was so inspired because I thought, I want to do a paint pour. I've always wanted to do a paint pour, so now I know I can do paint pour on furniture. So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to put a base coat of Old 57 all over this stool, and then um, when it's done, we'll come back and we'll, we'll pour paint all over it. So, I'm at my table and I have mixed up my clay base paints with Big Top, and that is the way that you get your clay base paints ready for a paint pour. I did a sample paint pour to make sure that my paints were the right consistency before I applied them to my furniture. When you see people do a paint pour and they swish all the paint around, all the blues stay with the blue and the grays stay with the grays and you need a solvent to add to your paints to do that and in acrylics they use I don't know what they use uh, but for us in our clay paint world of Debbie's Design Diary and DIY paint we use Big Top. The Big Top when added to the clay based paint will ensure that the paints stay separated and they won't muddy. So what I did was, well what Randy did was, he went to Dollar General and he got purchased me these mini squeeze bottles. They are four ounces a piece. They were in the bakery aisle. This is called the swipe technique. I basically just take a piece of cardboard or anything that has a flat edge and swipe the paint. them with the colors that I'm going to use for the paint pour. I filled them to about uh, just a little less than half. I filled this one with the um, Big Top and I just poured Big Top into the paint 
so that the it was probably about up to here. So I'm gonna say um, 60% paint, 40% big top. I wanted the paint to be a little thick, um, but I also want it to be able to still run. I definitely did not apply enough paint to this uh, test paint pour, so I added more paint and you'll see when I do my step stool, the same thing will happen. So feel free to add more paint as you see fit. the paint pour I just did came out really good now if only I can get that to go on this chair that would be great even though we added big top to the paint you can tell that the colors are still as vibrant as they were before we added the big top that is because um, Debbie's DIY paint is highly pigmented Like in a canvas paint pour, you'll need to tilt your project in all different directions. This will allow the paint to flow, and the more you tilt and the more the paint flows, the more organic your piece will be. to Old 57, the colors I used are White Swan, Apothecary, Blue Iris, Kissing Booth, Cake Batter, Sea Glass, and Cowgirl Coral. If your paints start to get a little thick and won't come out of the bottle easily, you can add more Big Top and shake it up. That should loosen your paint so that it will spread easily. find that the paints are getting a little thick and are not dripping as easily as you'd like, you can add some more Big Top directly to your project. When you've decided that you've played enough and now the whole design looks Definitely the way you want it, it's time to do the finishing touches, the sealants. Um, because I had already added Big Top to the paints, 
so that the colors would disperse well. I really didn't need to add another coat of it, but Big Top is a really heavy uh, protectant when you add it to your furniture. And because it's a step stool, I wanted that extra protection. So I did add another layer on the paint pour part of the stool and then everywhere else on the stool. So I hope you liked today's tutorial and I hope you get a chance to paint pour either on canvas, furniture, or on just about anything. Uh, for the materials used today, they can be purchased on my website shavalot.com. For more videos like this, head on over to my YouTube channel, also called Shavalot. Thank you for watching and have a great day.